Hi guys, this is AS Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, and we are looking at nomenclature and formulae. Question one, which row of the table is correct? So we need to look at the increasing number of carbon atoms. So all the four options have the same uh, esters, but arranged in a different way in each option. So let's draw the esters first, considering option A for all the names. So the first ester is ethyl methanoate. So methanoate means that the carboxylic acid part of the ester has a single carbon atom, while the alcohol part has two. So this is the structure of methyl or other ethyl methanoate. Next, we have methyl propanoate. So propanoate means three carbon atoms in the carboxylic portion. So CH3, CH2, C double bondo, single bondo, and methyl means a single carbon atom in the alcohol portion. Next, we have pentyl pentanoate. So pentyl means five carbon atoms, CH3, CH2, 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 C double bondo, single bondo, and then it is pentyl. So CH2, 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 and CH3. And the last one is propyl butanoate. So propyl means three carbon atoms and butanoate means four. So CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bondo, single bondo, and propyl means three. So CH2, CH2, and CH3. So out of these, the first option has a total of three carbon atoms present. The second option has a total of three and one, four carbon atoms present. The third option has a 10 carbon atoms present and the fourth option has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven carbon atoms present. So we need to arrange them in increasing number of carbon atoms. So the first one has to be ethyl methanoate. So ethyl methanoate is the option in A and B. Then we need to have methyl propanoate, which is also the same option in A and B. Then we need to have Propyl butanoate. So propyl butanoate is the option uh, present in B, followed by pentyl pentanoate, which is the correct ester present in option B. So option B has all the four esters arranged in increasing number of carbon atoms, making option B the correct option for this question. Question two. What is the correct name of the molecule with the skeletal formula shown? So this is an alcohol because we can see the OH group. So in order to name this alcohol, we start with the carbon atom that gives the least number to the OH group. So we start from here. So one, two, three, and we continue on with the longest carbon chain as the parent compound. So four and five. So we have this and this as substitute groups. These are CH3 groups present on the third position. So the name of this alcohol would be 3,3-dimethyl and 5-carbon as a parent compound, so pentane and the OH group on the second carbon atom, so 2-all. 3,3-dimethyl, pentane, 2-all. So this makes option C the correct option for this question. Question three, the compound rotundone is responsible for the peppery smell of pepper and is also found in some red wines. How many hydrogen atoms are in one molecule of rotundone? So this is the skeletal formula. So we need to count the hydrogen atoms present. So let's put down the hydrogen atoms about each carbon atom. So we start with the CH2 group at the bottom. So this would have three hydrogen atoms. This would have one. This would have two present. The other three carbon in this cycle would have no carbon atoms present. Moving on to the other cycle, so we would have one here, three over here, two here, two here, one here, two over here. Uh, we would have three over here and two over here. So now let's add these together to find out the number of hydrogen atoms present. So this would be three plus two, five plus three, eight, one, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21 and we must be missing a hydrogen somewhere because 21 is not an option so let's go over it again 3 and 1 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so we've got 22 uh, hydrogen atoms present, making option C the correct option for this question. Question four, which formula represents the empirical formula of a compound? So the empirical formula of a compound has the elements present in the simplest ratio, meaning it cannot be further simplified. So in option A, we've got C2H4O. A single oxygen atom means that this cannot be simplified any further. In option B, we've got C2H4O2, which can further be simplified to CH2O. C has C6H12, which can be simplified to CH2. D has H2O2, which can be further simplified into HO. So option A is the only one with a formula that cannot be simplified any further, making it the empirical formula and making option A the correct option for this question. Question five, what is the name of compound X? So X is an alcohol and an alkene. So we would give the least number to the double bond so counting from left to right one two three four five six and counting from right to left one two three four five six so from both ends we've got the carbon atom on the third position having a double bond present so now the least number would be given to the alcohol group oh so the counting will start from the right so this would be one two three four five and six so we would have the compound as 2-hydroxy, the compound would be 2-hydroxy and it's hexane, so hex-3-ene. However, all of the names have trans written uh, before it, so they must be referring to the trans isomer of this compound. So trans 2 hydroxy hex 3 ene so this makes option A the correct option for this question. Question six, the diagram shows the skeletal formula of citric acid. What is the molecular formula of citric acid? So we need to count the number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms present. So oxygen is easy because all of them are displayed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got O7. And we need to find out the number of carbon and hydrogen. So the number of carbons would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So number of carbon atoms is 6. Now to count the number of hydrogen present. So this would be 1. This would be 2 hydrogen here. Then there is 1 hydrogen here. There are 2 hydrogen here. And the rest of them, 1 and 1. So counting uh, the numbers together. So 2 plus 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and eight. So we've got a total of eight hydrogen atoms present in citric acid. So the molecular formula of citric acid is C6H8O7, making option A the correct option for this question. Question seven, which compound has the molecular formula C6H10O? So we need to find out the molecular formula of four, four compounds. So we start with A. So A has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 carbon atoms, so C6. And then there is just one O. There is just one O in all of them. So O, O, and O. Then we need to find out the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms in each compound. So in B, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six carbon atoms. In C, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six carbon atoms. And in D, we've got one, 
two, three, four, five, and six carbon atoms. So all of them have six carbon atoms as well. So the differentiating factor would be the number of hydrogens present. So in A, we would have two, three, one, two, and two. So the total would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there would be ten hydrogen atoms in A. In B, we would have three, 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 and three. So that would make it twelve hydrogen atoms. In C, we would have two, one, one, two, and two. So that would make it eight hydrogen atoms in C. And in D, we would have one, two, one, three, two, and three. So this would be three plus three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we would have twelve hydrogen atoms in compound D. So the only compound that has a molecular formula matching the one that we found out is C six H N O, which is the molecular formula of compound A. So this makes compound A. The correct answer for this question. Question eight. The diagram shows the skeletal formula of compound Y. What is the empirical formula of compound Y? So we need to find the molecular formula first. So that would be one, two, three, and four carbon atoms. So C four. Then we need to find out the number of hydrogens present. So one, two the two in the OH groups and three and four, the ones on the double bond at the bottom. So we've got four hydrogen atoms and we've got one, two, three, four and four oxygen atoms. So since all the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen atoms are equal, its empirical formula would be CHO, which makes option A the correct option for this question. Question nine, the diagram shows the skeletal formula of phenazine. What is the empirical formula of phenazine? So we have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve carbon atoms present in phenazine. There are two nitrogen atoms present in phenazine. And now to count the number of hydrogen atoms present, so we would have one, one, then we would have one, one, followed by one, 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 and one. So in total, we would have eight hydrogen atoms present in phenazine. So C12, H8, N2. So we divide uh, all of these by two, and we end up with the formula of C6, H4, N. This would be the empirical formula of this compound, which would make option A the correct option for this question. Question 10. For which hydrocarbon are the molecular and empirical formula the same? So butane has a molecular formula of C4H10. Ethane has a molecular formula of C2H6. Pent1ene has a molecular formula of C5H10. And propane has a molecular formula of C3H8. So in order to find the empirical formula, C4H10 can be divided by 2. So we end up with c 2 H5 as its empirical formula. C2, H6 can be divided by 2. We can end up with CH3 as its empirical formula. C5, H10 can be divided by 5. So we end up with CH2 as its empirical formula. And C3, H8 cannot be divided by 3 or 2 or 4 or 8 or any other number. So its empirical formula remains C3, H8. So the empirical formula and the molecular formula are the same for propane, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 11, which statement is correct? 
2 2 di ethyl propanoic acid is an isomer of propyl methanoate. So we need to make these structures. So 2 2 di methyl propanoic acid. Propanoic acid is three carbon atoms. So CH3. Then we've got C double OH and CH3 and CH3 on the second position. And the other one is propyl methanoate. So methanoate would mean that we have one carbon atom in the acidic portion of the esters and it is propyl. So CH2, CH2 and CH3. So if these are isomers then the number of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen must be the same. So carbon in the acid are five, but the carbon in the ester are four. So this statement is incorrect. As for statement two, two methyl butane to all is an isomer of hexane three all. So two methyl butane to all, butane to all. So that would be four carbon atoms and we have got two methyl and butane to all. So CH3, then we have CH with an OH group and a CH3 group because we've got methyl on the second position along with the hydrox hydroxide uh, group. So we have, and this is supposed to be a butane 2 also, CH2 and CH3. So this is the structure of the first compound and its isomer is supposed to be hexane 3 all. So CH3, CH2, CH, OH, CH2, CH2, and CH3. So the number of carbon atoms in the alcohol on the left are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the one on the right are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is incorrect as well. As for the third one, we have 3 methyl butane 2 on is an isomer of pentanyl. So 3 methyl butane 2 on. So butane 2 on. So that would be CH3. C double bond O and we have three methyl so CH CH3 and it's butane 2 on so there is another CH3 so this is the structure on the left and the one on the right is pentanyl so that would be CH3 CH2 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 and CHO so the total number of carbons on the left are 1 2 3 4 5 and the one on the right are 5 total number of hydrogen on the left are 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 and 1 10 and the one on the right are 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is one oxygen on the left and one oxygen on the right. So this is the correct statement because three methyl butane two on has a molecular formula of C five H ten O, and pentanyl also has a molecular formula of C five H ten O. Both have different functional groups present, so they are isomers of each other. So this makes option C the correct option for this question. Question 12. The skeletal formula of compound X is shown. What is the molecular formula of compound X? So we need to add together the number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. It has a single oxygen atom. The number of carbons are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So C10. And the number of hydrogen atoms would be 2, 1, one here, three here, two here, two here, one here, three here, and three here. So in total, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we've got eighteen hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of compound X is C10H18O, making option A the correct option for this question.